Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you what's in my garage. It is a very sunny and warm day in Miami. So I'm gonna start with normal car and then a little bit of a surprise for the end. So let's go. Right, so this is my Honda HPD Ridgeline. It's got rim collar, car collar, a different exhaust. That's why it's called HPD, Honda Performance Development. I'm a Honda driver in IndyCar. So I picked up the Ridgeline because I can go kite surfing, cycling, whatever, put everything in the back of the truck. I've got four doors, so I can put my three kids on the back door. It's got a decent engine, it's got good tires, and it's a very, very convenient car for Miami. If you want to buy a TV, bring your kite surf, bring anything, just use it. It's made to go in the sand, it's made to go off-road. And as I say, it's got the HP look with a different color, different rims, and different exhaust. Um, this is more Mayon's car. It's a Honda Pilot. There's a lot of seats inside, two at the front, two in the middle and, and three at the back. Because we've got three kids and they've got friends, we need that to carry them over. But it's a really good car. It's got few nice options like the cooling seat. You know, in Europe we use the heating seat in, in the winter. Here you do want the cooling seat for the summer. We designed it ourselves and that's the beauty of being a Honda driver. You know, you design, you choose the color, you choose the option, you choose the rim. Maya loves it. I try to steal it from her when I can because it's a, it's a pretty good car and I don't have the cooling seat in the reach line. That's, uh, that's our everyday's car. The best one is yet to come. Okay, well, this is my, um, this is my old BMW. I'm actually not really saying, I'll say it's old. It's a 1981 BMW R100 RS that I made in a cafe racer. There's a lot of things that are from original. The engine, the chassis, the wheels, fuel tank, original seat has been changed. Battery has been changed, but the rest is pretty much um, pretty much as it was. It's got 900 kilometers, a little bit more in real life, but we changed the countdown. And put it back at zero when I build it. It's the motorbike that we use by the German policeman. It's the you know big thing in the front and very different from what it looks now, but absolutely love it. It rides well in Miami. It's great. Just a cool a cool bike to have. Look at that. It's got a flat twin, meaning there's one cylinder coming flat on that side, another one on the other side, the carburetor. We want very simplistic on the handlebar. I just have a kill switch, GPS on my mobile phone, the speedometer, and we've got the choke here to start it uh, when it's cold, indicator, the couple of lights, and on the other side, you get the other flat swim. Look, one on this side, and the other one on that side, with the carburetor, we changed a little bit the rear end with the cafe racer style, but pretty much everything of the rest is original. Even even the light, it's from what it was back in the days. Definitely, that engine is a is a beautiful piece. Okay, now I turn to my bike. Well, that's one of them. That's a fast one. That's a time trial bike. It's a TT bike, so obviously it's got a big zip wheel, 808 or 858, 858. Sorry, new 858. It's got a big gear, power meter on the pedals. Time trial position, so you go really tucked in when you when you ride it, and you go super fast. I mean, 36, 37 kilometers average when you go out on the ride. You can't really stay long on it. It's not very comfortable, but it goes fast. Got my helmet, made by Ikoi with uh, the Phoenix logo. Even on the on the Sunnies, you can see the Phoenix logo there. Absolutely stunning. I love cycling. I do, I do cycle, cycle 4,000, 5,000 kilometers a year, depending on the races. Here in Miami, obviously, I, I cycle a lot because it's fast. It's all straight, there's no, there's no climbing, so the average speed is faster, meaning you get more mile. All right, here's a surprise. Are you ready? Who could it be? What could it be? It's a four. It's a Ford Mustang, 1966 Ford Mustang. Everything is from original, the color is original, the rims are original. It's a, it's a 289 uh, engine, a little bit boosted, uh, about 400 horsepower. The convertible roof is automatic. 
Uh, just press the button, it gets open. I love that color, it's very hard to describe. It's not green, it's not champagne, it's not gold. It's a green champagne gold that I love. Funny enough, on a Mustang, if you open the door, you can find all the info. If it's a code A, a code C, a code K, which was the color, which was the options. Inside, there's a lot of different options uh, that I'm gonna show you. But yeah, I just absolutely love all the details. GT here, Mustang, it's got the 289 front of the car is stunning the exhaust is amazing all of that is, is pretty incredible uh, let me show you the engine look at the engine i mean it's stunning all right shall we start the engine i love it so welcome inside the mustang uh we got i mean we got seat belt but in the 60s there weren't seat belt in cars so you actually don't have to wear it we've got manual gearbox it's a four gear manual gearbox look at that steering wheel i mean it's awesome um that car's got the rally option the rally option meant you had the time of the day and the rev counter so we've got the rev here got the fuel got the oil got the speedometer got the battery and uh, the water temp on top uh, we also got here the indicator for um, well the indicator that's the lighter back in the days that the lighter um, that looks like old but that's brand new and I can actually in the glove box plug a USB cable to play music in the car we've got the wiper here we've got the lights here on oh got blue off uh, the fog light and that's for the electric roof okay so then we've got three pedals accelerator brake clutch that one down there that small button down there that's uh, the light if you want to uh, head headlight handbrake that black thing here that that's the choke and that's something you need to use to start the engine uh, when it's uh, when it's cold seats at the rear also that was that was another option that that letter is the Mustang sign beautiful details there that button right here is to set up your uh, mirror your external mirror and there's only one on the left hand side and nothing on the right hand side we talked about the convertible roof look at that all electric 1966 an all-electric convertible roof. Here we go. Just have to go and ride it or drive it. Okay, I guess so. The question is, why a Mustang? Is it the American dream? Is it? Did I buy it when I get to uh, Miami? No, I had it in Switzerland. And the story is that in 2018, I was on a fly with a friend of mine in California, going to Los Angeles, and we get to the airport, and tells me, okay, just take a Uber. I've got an old car. I'm not sure it's gonna start. I said, no, no, don't worry. I'll come with you. So we go, and he's got a Mustang. Uh, we drove in California. I love it. And the first thing I say, I need one. I went back to Switzerland, did some research, and found that one. So that one's got three owners only. The first one in Boston, bought in 1965 for 3,850 and something dollars. The one in Switzerland, and then me that bought in Switzerland, drive it in, in Geneva for two years, three years, and then actually took it over back in the States. So the Mustang is back home in the USA. The kids love it, they go behind. We just drive it and, and have a different feel of the road. It's just, everything is it's just different. All right, enough talking, let's go driving. Steering wheel, off we go. Look at the indicator light working very well here. Mm, so you're gonna go that way. Other indicator light. Sound V8 engine, 289 inch cubic, 